Shalom, Vinyl Community. Another Saturday, another video, and this again is a a wild mix about everything. I'm I'm listening right now. Uh, what I currently get in um, in the back. Matsuli music. Uh, label sampler for some African music and I'm coming to that in a couple of minutes. First of all, let's start with Mood Swing from Lady Paradox and Gadget. Uh, again, a Bandcamp discovery coming on purple vinyl. Um, Lady Paradox is from the UK and you definitely hear that when she's singing. It's a new, fine, purple vinyl. Um, those are some... Yeah, the music itself is, um, is, is jazzy, but the singing is hip-hop. So it's, a, again, a hip-hop um, jazz combination. Very nice cover, by the way. I like that. A little creepy. Um, and this one is currently spinning up and down. I absolutely love it, adore it. This this British accent and this really nice singing. Um, very cool stuff. Yeah, um, you remember those uh, the label sampler? I bought a couple of LPs from that label. So this one. It's Patsumi. Those are older. Um, so originally, those are from from South Africa, and this label um, uh, re-released those and reworked them from the original master. So this one, for example, is coming on. Transparent vinyl, um, and those are lovely. Those are so great. So it's written right here. Technical though, this album has been lovingly restored and remastered for vinyl from the original master tapes. In presenting this new version, one of the challenges faced was that the original recording is swamped with natural noise from the use of reverb live adjustment of recording levels, open mics and little noise gating. While the original ambulance is preserved, this new enhanced version is a significant improvement on previous attempts. And it sounds just fine. And um, together with Mood Swing and, and, and next ones, um, all those are currently spinning up and down. Uh, really love them and what is really nice that um, together with that you get from Bandcamp the digital file, the mp3. You can download it, put it on your iPod, listen to it when you're in the car and I'm quite often in the car to a lot of business trips and um, again up and down from the same label Black Disco, Night Express um, this is a black vinyl. Um, yeah, not that jazzy, also jazzy, but uh, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, a bit more the, the, the disc tunes, but also um, incredible, nice record. Really, really highly recommend. If you can get them, get them, they are just great. Uh, Last from this series is In Lupeco, Distress, the Soul Jazzman, also coming on black vinyl. Uh, by the way, way, real thick cardboard, so lovely made. Tons of, of information on the inner sleeve. African jazz at its best. Really, really great. 
I'm so glad that I found this. Um, I guess you guys know all those band cups. I'm so glad that I found that. And every time I'm I'm looking there, just for the looks, I I buy tons of stuff. Uh, yeah. Next up, completely different. No, not com completely different. The Beach Boys, Pet Sounds, a real classic. Nothing to say about that. And just um, I have no Beach Boys. Well, I had no Beach Boys, not a single Beach Boys LP so far. And I thought a good entry would be the Pet Sounds. Um, here in Switzerland it's not easy to, to get originals or to get some in, in good shape and for a reasonable price. Therefore you can also buy them new and reprinted. And what I heard of those printings, they should sound real nice. Did not yet listen to it, but we'll see. Beach Boys, Pet Sounds. Uh, next up, um, from the Winter and Winter label, um, I showed in the last or two videos before this, again, this African Jazz. So this is now different. This is, um, um, uh, those are um, Bill Evans titles played or interpreted by Paul Motion or Motian, Bill Frizzle, Joe Lovano, Mark Johnson and the set is Paul Motian on drums, Bill Frizzle electric guitar, Joe Lovano on the tenor sax and Mark Johnson on the acoustic bass. Um, really nice. Um, not an instant fave. Uh, I need to get used to it because um, if I think about Bill Evans, I think about other stuff. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm directly in my mind. I think all the time about the piano playing, and um, it's it's different, but it's very nice. Um, I need to, to to spin this one more often to get deeper into it. But however, it's a nice recording. Um, Train Spotting, the soundtrack, wanted to have it because um, did not have it before. Uh, cool film, cool soundtrack, um, came on orange vinyl, good to have it. Boren and the Club of Gore. Or in German, Bohren und der Club of Gore, Sunset Mission. Um, nice chilling tunes. Um, guess most of you guys know Bohren and the Club of Gore. Uh, next up, Dream Theater. Uh, still packed, did not listen to it. Um, I heard different opinions about that album. Uh, a lot of people said, well, it's nice, technically good, but nothing new. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing it. However, I love Dream Theater. Um, one of the reasons is I like their complicated music, these um, ultra large um, songs, 10 and 15 minutes, and. Um, Incredible how those guys are able to play their instruments and I'm looking forward to it Can't say more about that right now Yeah, uh, last I already showed that um, On the Facebook page. I just bought a very small collection of the Moody Blues uh, Especially because Liz said I need to have some Moody Blues and I, I I did not have it before and uh, after she showed it and a couple of other guys were showing it I listened to to, to some tunes and I said well this is really cool and I um, have to look for it so I bought this small collection for uh, 30 bucks uh, I mean it's a lot of money but again here in Switzerland uh, things are expensive and it's not so easy to get um, used records and if I start buying from from the States or from UK the shipping 
comes with it you know you're never sure about the condition so all of those came in vinyl wise minty condition nothing on the vinyl there crystal clear clear sound brilliant fantastic um, the covers here and there well you see that they are used but still in very good condition so we're starting with days of future past the moody blues and I got it in two versions don't ask me which one is which one uh, this is the Derem label and this is the Ramex sound system also Derem so this is 1967 and this is 1968 68 67 uh, no difference both sound brilliant um, as far as I know this was the first Moody Blues where they made the symphonic stuff um, and where one of the most famous songs of those of, of them is, is, is recorded uh, the Knights in White Satin nice uh, next one is um, In Search of the Lost Chord Also, Derem, or Derem label. Next up is um, On the Threshold of a Dream. Again, Derem label. And then, Hylis, I got it. The Moody Plus. Uh, to our children's children's children. And here, this is on the Threshold label. I think this was the, the Moody Plus. Um, label which they they own uh, fantastic record love it this was a good recommendation I really love that um, moody blues question of balance also on threshold and last one the moody blues seven sojourn sojourn how is it spelled I have no idea also on the threshold label yeah still waiting for a couple of, of, of records from some um, um, online boards to arrive uh, maybe you can show them next week um, yeah this was it stay well guys have a nice week and see you next time <laughs>